ship boosters and ships as we do today with Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy boosters. And in fact, we've landed good for launch so far. Uh, the pad itself is getting ready. Remind the, uh, it was what would allow teams to wait for final checkouts. Uh, uh, Four, three. We have the top. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Max Q. At a supersonic. minute and 30 seconds until we get to stage separation. Center one's lit. Booster engine cut off. Ship ignition. Stage separation confirmed. Booth back burn start up. Acquisition is sitting. Lots of excitement. So right here, this is <laughs> this is our view of the jettisoned hot stage. Uh, as we mentioned, this is a temporary. About 30 seconds away from that landing burn, expecting to begin. And now we can see this incredible view of Earth as it's making its way back down to the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, the booster is using the four hypersonic grid fins to guide itself through atmospheric. The booster and your right-hand side of you from the ship. And you can see those grid fins on your left-hand screen rotating and turning okay, to guide the booster. And there's that landing burn. That landing burn just begun. And you can see the water below. Expecting those, and just there we could see that those have also successfully cut off. Being brought to us by Starlink, which is on board the ship. Dan, what an incredible view we have once again. So exciting, we got another ship in space. recently described it is with the forces and the flows and the temperatures it's like also eventually to be able to see payloads once they're deployed so a lot more exciting stuff coming exactly we've been talking about this this entire flight test there's 18,000 hectares of the ship until those engines are pointing down uh, so that it can land vertically using <laughs> This is, the, this is the same view that we had when we found 10 minutes before splashdown and such incredible. And in your bottom right hand corner, you can also follow along with that. We go through reentry. Um, you've been hearing the call outs, the, they're tracking things like the air is either moving faster or slower than the speed of sound. We'll eventually get to uh, subsonic, which we have some experience. What we're really looking at here is the performance of the heat shield of the flaps, of the seals in the flaps. There's just a whole bunch of different areas that we're keeping a really close eye on as we reenter. It re-enters. Light show so far. External temperatures are starting to come down. Again. This camera view is looking right at one of the, the forward flaps. And we're, we're strategically putting some cameras around the vehicle to just look at the, the different areas. That, ooh, looks like we got the flap starting to come apart a little. Yeah, it does appear that we have a little bit of burn through there. We can see 
pieces of the vehicle flying off. What a show it has been. It's been like watching Interstellar or something. <laughs> This is wild to see this, but the ship is still coming down, which is incredible to see. How far can it go? That is the question. Keep your eye on the altitude in the bottom right-hand corner. We're at 54 kilometers right now. Now, ultimately, the data is the payload today. We've been saying it multiple times. We're the, you know, our teams are, are sitting, uh, reviewing this data live, learning where the hot spots are, as you can see, and closing. The good news is we still got, oh, looks like that camera lens. Very much. <laughs> the fact that it's there <laughs> tells us the ship is still alive. Yes. That movement means the flaps are actuating. I think we can see something. This is a nail biter. <laughs> But we are, uh, unfortunately, we can't see through the, through the, the, the lens, but we're still getting the feed. Uh, Starship is now uh, 11 kilometers over the ocean. All this data is incredibly important. Even if, uh, you know, it breaks up right now. Okay, we can see that flap actuating through the glass. Landing beam startup to Starship. All right, good news there. Landing board started. Starship is in landing board. Landing board, Shepard. 